I'm bored of this now. Quite frankly, you should be grateful I'm wearing anything. Who really cares at this point? I had wonderful intentions. I had such wonderful intentions. December 2019, you remember that date? Seems so long ago now. Well, I, in December of 2019, decided that I was going to resubscribe to Hamster Mail because I'd taken a break from it for so long and I don't know why, I can't even remember anymore. But I thought, you know what, I miss it. I miss it, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna have another subscription. I got a six month subscription, six more Hamster Mailboxes to come and I was so excited about it. And then the January box came and through no fault of Hamster Mail, um, somebody had run it over with a bulldozer. Thankfully, all the stuff inside it survived, however, the packaging of the stuff inside, not so much. So I ended up not filming an unboxing of the January Hamster Mailbox because I was kind of more concerned as to making sure it was okay inside. So I just opened it and didn't film it and thought, it's not a big deal. The February box is coming soon, and then the March, April, May, June box, it'll be great, it'll be fine. Plenty of boxes to come. This is the February box. Great stuff. Fantastic. No problem with this. However, however, as you may know, Hamster Mail is based in the UK and I do not live in the UK, so I have to get these shipped from another country. And because of the lockdown, we are not getting any post from outside of the country for a long, long time. I don't know when it's coming back. Minimum six weeks, so I don't know when I'm getting the March box. I don't know. I don't know if I'll even get the April box. I may end up getting the March, April and May box all at once, which, you know, that'd be fine. Interesting video. But I also may not end up getting them at all. I don't know what's gonna happen. Where is my post gonna- Where, where is the post going when it's not coming here? A true philosophical question. <sighs> Anyway, we have the February hamster mailbox and we're, we're excited and happy to open it. I am because I, I like I say, I missed hamster mail and, uh, and, I'm, and I'm thrilled to get into this. So let's, let's do that. And if you're someone who has absolutely no idea what hamster mail is, we can't be friends. Sorry. I don't make the rules. For serious though, if you do want to know more about Hamster Mail, I did an in-depth review on them about two years ago and I'll link it up in the cards up here somewhere. I've been very good with the February box. I didn't peek on their Instagram page to see what it is, so I genuinely have no idea what's in this one. I'll never not be happy by the yellow paper. This is this is like my favorite shade of yellow. As always, the contents of the Hamster Mailbox have a natural vibe to them. We've got natural materials used in the toys. Uh, the treats are very simple, no additives, no extra sugars, nice healthy treats. And let's see which charity they are supporting this month. The charity of the month is Hoppy Haven, which is a foster-based small animal rescue in Illinois, USA. They were founded in 2018 and in their first month alone had a whopping 34 adoptions. That is fantastic. I will include links in the description box down below to the charity of the month. So if you guys want to go check it out and support them, you can do that. Let's start as always with the treats. We have a bag of dried cucumber slices, which I have a feeling I've had these in a hamster mailbox before, or perhaps I've had them in, uh, in another brand's box. I'm sure it was hamster mail though. These really are as simple and straightforward as they look, just plain sliced dried cucumber, nothing added to them, no extra sugars, no flavors, nothing at all, just cucumber. And that is fantastic. And last time these went down really well with my hamsters, so I'm pretty sure they'll go down just as well with ammonia. Treat number two in the February box is the Healthy Hopper Fruit Crunch Platter, 100% edible, even the palm leaf bowl. It contains apple slices, unsweetened banana, and rose hip. Now I'm fairly certain my ammonia does not like rose hip. However, he does like fresh banana, so I think he's gonna love the dried banana. And I have yet to try him on apple, so I think I might do a dedicated video of him trying that out if he likes it. Um, oftentimes I go to film videos of him trying foods and then he just ignores them and walks off. I also love and appreciate the bowls they come in. I have two of these already from previous platters, so I may have to find something else to do with it. Um, maybe I can turn it into a toy or something. I'm sure I can figure something. Moving on to the toys, we have a bundle of willow sticks. This one's by the brand Nature First, which is a common brand to see in these boxes. Um, but willow sticks are willow sticks, no matter what brand you get them from. Again, very simple, very straightforward, but also quite versatile. I remember back in the day when I first started started keeping hamsters, having willow sticks around was just one of those things that everybody had. It was almost like a necessity on your list because of course 
These can be used as chew toys, but they can also be made into a bunch of things. Um, if you get the really thick willow sticks, you can actually make your own bendy bridges. I've also seen people get a bunch of willow sticks and then tie them together at the top to make them into a kind of a, a tent or a hideaway for the hamster. For me, one thing I like to use chew sticks for is making my own homemade seed sticks and using these as the center to hold everything together. And I might do a video on that at some point. And of course I saved the most interesting one for last. I have never seen this toy before. This is brand new to my eyes. This is the uh, Rosewood Woven Rollers, part of the Earth Kind range, which is why I've never seen them before. This is a new range. Uh, Rosewood Woven Rollers are handmade using natural, renewable, and recyclable materials. They're ideal to chew, gnaw, and toss, and a colorful and natural addition for any hamster's home. I am weirdly in love with this spiky ball on the end. There is something about the texture of this and the way it looks that is just mesmerizing to me. I, 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 mm, I love it. I don't know why. Now, I don't think I'm going to get to use this with ammonia because he's not really a big chewer, although I will give him a go with it just to see. Um, but if he doesn't like it, it's not a loss because, of course, at some point I will be getting another mouse and it'll be perfect for going in my mouse enclosure. I absolutely love the design of this and the way it looks. It's so interesting. It's so different from a lot of the stuff that you see in the pet market at the minute. And I have not been disappointed by anything from Rosewood's new natural line. They're all really, really pretty. And I'm so glad that Hamster Mail has been including some of these new Rosewood products in their boxes because I cannot get them elsewhere. So uh, it's, it's nice for me to be able to have some of these things. So that was February's Hamster Mailbox. As always, very happy with the contents, looking forward to using them, looking forward to doing a video with these. I'll definitely get on that as soon as I can. Uh, trying ammonia out with the apple bits. Again, try and film that and seeing what he thinks of these and if he doesn't like them I may just use them to decorate my own home who knows maybe I won't give them to a mouse seriously I'm I, I there's something about that bottom one that I love why do I love that so much I don't understand anyway thank you for watching thank you for supporting the channel don't forget to keep washing your hands and keep practicing social distancing and I will see you guys next time I wonder at what point I need to start resorting to eating my hamsters food the world's falling apart anyway, why not? It just tastes like cucumber, but not wet. I don't know what I was expecting. You take all the water out of cucumber. Wow, shock. The cucumber tastes like cucumber. All right, I think we're done. I think this is... No, no. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, people, bye.